Hey guys, so it is really early in the morning. I literally just woke up. It's like 6.30 something. <clears throat> I literally just woke up. So that is why I look like this and everything. But I am going to take a first response today. I am 12, 12 DPO and yeah, so let's just take this and then we will talk. So, I don't really know what, like, I think it's going to be negative because I wish I would have recorded this, but on 90 PL, I think it was 90 PL. Yeah, 90 PL, I took a pregnancy test, like, just like a cheap one, and then I took a first response, and they were both negative. So, I, I just, I feel like it's going to be negative, I do. But then at the same time, like, it could be positive because it could have just been too early. Um, this month, we didn't try that much. Like, we really took it easy, just tried to learn my cycle. Um, we were really busy, so, like, we, we just, it didn't work out this month. Um, but we did try on the day that I got a positive OPK. So, I mean, there is a chance... I really thought I was pregnant there for like a week though because I was tired and I still have all of this. Um, I was tired. I would wake up and I, I just wouldn't feel right. Like I would, f I wouldn't feel like nauseous, but like my stomach would kind of hurt and I would just kind of feel like icky. Um, my back would hurt. I... And then for a few days there, I was having really light spotting. And I never have had that before. I've never got my period early or anything like that. So it was just really weird for me. And I had spotting for like four days or like three, three and a half days. And it was like at the last like day and a half, it was like super light. Like hardly anything there, but there was a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And like... The other days it was still really light, like it was still super light and it was like a mixture of like red and pink and brown so it was like weird. So I'm like, oh my god, this must be implantation bleeding. But then I took a test on the 9 dpo and I was still having the bleeding and it was negative. So I don't know if it was just too early after the implantation bleeding to take a test, like I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if it was implantation bleeding because I don't know. I don't think it's going to be positive. I don't think I'm pregnant this month. It was just really weird. I don't know why I was bleeding. I have no idea. It was super weird. But during that, I felt nauseous. My, I had cramps. Like, it was weird. Um, and then lately, I've also been having, um, like, my boobs have been hurting. But they're not necessarily hurting, I guess. It's more like just sore. Like, they're, they just feel sore and different. I don't know. That Like, I really did think I was pregnant because <clears throat> I never have, like, symptoms like this. But maybe because it's, like, we are trying to conceive that I'm just, like, in my head with everything. Like, I just am overthinking everything. My back would hurt. I... And then for a few days there, I was having really light spotting. And I never have had that before. I've never got my period early or anything like that. So it was just really weird for me. And I had spotting for like four days or like three, three and a half days. And it was like at the last like day and a half, it was like super light. Like hardly anything there, but there was a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And like... The other days it was still really light, like it was still super light and it was like a mixture of like red and pink and brown so it was like weird. So I'm like, oh my god, this must be implantation bleeding. But then I took a test on the 9DPO and I was still having the bleeding and it was negative. So I don't know if it was just too early after the implantation bleeding to take a test, like I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't even know if it was implantation bleeding because I don't know. I don't think it's going to be positive. I don't think I'm pregnant this month. It was just really weird. I don't know why I was bleeding. I have no idea. It was super weird. So obviously I just took a pregnancy test. Right now I am 15 DPO and one of my apps says my period was due today and I haven't gotten it and then the other one says it's not due until like Thursday. So I don't know. I don't think my period is due today though because my cycles are usually longer than 28 days. So we'll see. I don't think that my period is due today though so I don't think I'm late or anything. Um, I'm just taking another one just because I just feel so off. I have felt so off for like a week and a half now. And I like, I know I'm not pregnant. Like I know I'm not like all the tests that I've taken have came back negative. So like I know that I'm not, but part of me is just like, I must be because I feel so weird. So I don't know. If what I was having was implantation bleeding, then it should show up on the test by now. When I took a test at 12 DPO, it still could have been too early. So I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know. I'm so confused and <clears throat> I'm a little bit like annoyed because I don't know. Like my boobs have been hurting and that's been like the biggest thing recently is that my boobs have just been hurting they've been so sore and just like tender I guess and like my boobs are never like that so it's weird but again maybe it's just because my period is coming I have no idea or maybe this is just a weird cycle I don't know but definitely I don't think I'm pregnant I don't think this test is going to come back positive at all I just figured I would test again just to get it out of my head because it's annoying. It really is. Um, so yeah, I have a timer set on my phone so when it goes off we will look at it, but I, like I said, it's going to be negative for sure. Um, yeah, so I, I don't really know what else to say, but um, the last pregnancy test that I took that you guys saw just right before this, I was so tired, you guys. Like, I was so tired. So just ignore my voice and everything because I was exhausted. Okay, so it is definitely negative for sure. Alright, so it was negative like I thought it would be. But that's okay, it just means that we just have to try again next cycle and that's fine. My period should be coming within a few days now, so I'm excited to try again and we will see. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye.